What the heck? Oh, I broke the game. I broke the game. I'm below the island. Oh! <laughs> That's amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to The Last Leviathan. If you don't know what this game is, it's basically besieged on the ocean, on the high seas. And you can make some really awesome ships. And in the last couple episodes, I've been trying to check out some workshop stuff that wasn't loading. Well, the devs fixed that issue, and so today we're going to check out those specific things and see what they're like because there's some really cool ones that I've been meaning that I've been wanting to take a look at, but I just couldn't because of the fact that the workshop items weren't loading. So, Let's take a look here. The first one I wanted to look at was Dave the Flying Fishy, which is probably one of the coolest things and was my inspiration for Flipper that I used in that one uh, video for the battle. So basically, it's got sails on the bottom like that. And look at this. It just absolutely... Well, we broke it. <laughs> we broke it. Oh, gosh. Okay. So apparently we went too far and uh, we gave it too much throttle or something. The thing just breaks apart. It's too epic. It's too epic. Uh, so you can see what Dave can do. Dave can fly really well. A little too good, perhaps. And it's just because of the sails that are pointed down. So maybe if we go at half. Nope, we broke it again. Let's try going uh, like that. Will that do it? Will that do it for us? It's a little too much. We're going against the wind here. Let's turn it around. Okay, there we go. So let's lower it. Let's slow it down. Slow it down. We don't want him to break apart again. Dave? Now he's not going though. We got it. Maybe we have to do full on. There we go. There we go. It's working now. Oh no! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, we've we discovered something amazing. Yes, backflips for days. Oh, it's like floating. Ah, I broke apart. Uh, so you can see what it does, though. I mean, it's it's designed to jump out of the water like that. But I wonder if we need to like keep it at a certain speed. If it works better at a certain speed, let's do like right there. Let's not. Maybe a little bit more than that. Let's not touch it. There we go. There we go. There we go. So that's like what it's supposed to do is jump out of the water like that. So about halfway it seems to to work quite well. But guys, we got to get more air than that though. We've got to get more air. But it's working though. There, that's a good one. Oh, too much. Oh, it broke apart. So you can see Dave the Flying Fish is a lot of fun to use. He's pretty cool. So okay, so some of the other workshop stuff that I wanted to check out. Uh, let's see. Dave the flying fish. Oh yeah, the SS Subnautical. Let's load this thing in and check this thing out. Okay, so first of all, we've got a flamethrower in the f in the back, cannons on the sides, cannons in the front, and uh, so it's a sub, you know, obviously, and it barely pokes out. It's pretty. F pretty out of the water for a sub so we've got the telescope oh yeah wish you could fire cannons when you're in that mode wait oh yeah it's got the they got the sped up like uh, cannons the mini cannons so then we've got side cannons oh there's a mortar back here I didn't even see that the mortars are freaking cool man and then we got the flamethrower in the back. So I wonder, can we get this thing to go underwater? Sometimes if you uh, like amp up the speed or slow it down, you get it to a certain speed, the subs, if they're built right, will be barely above the water or actually submerge. Somebody has a submersible one that works really, really well, depending on how what your speed is. Uh, mine, the sub that I've made, barely pokes out of the water. So, I mean, this is kind of a sub. I mean, it just doesn't go down any more than this. Like, if we look at the one that I made, if you guys didn't see this, I made a video on it uh, when I was building it. Wait, was there any other ones up here that I was going to look at? Uh, there's an... Okay. Well, we looked at the freaking dolphins ones. Do dolphins one in the last one. Uh, okay, so let's see. Where is it? We looked at Sanic. Where's my sub at? 
here it is. So my sub, it barely pokes out of the water. I mean, it's like pretty perfect uh, balance here. And that's just because I have a couple blocks that are offsetting it. So you can see like it's just enough above the water where the guns can shoot. And uh, if we speed it up, you know, then we're kind of a little bit more balanced. But we've got one gun on each side. I'd like to have maybe an episode where we look at all the at all the subs. So, you know, mine barely pokes out. I can't get mine to go down. Some people have it balanced to where it goes down. Maybe if we... Let me see something, actually. Maybe if we... Uh, let's try this. And then let's try putting... That's a lot of weight, though. We, we might only need one. Okay, let's try putting the melee back on. And let's see if that helped. Because if we can get it to be underwater until we until we give it some boost, that might be kind of good. Okay, so let's try one more. Because that, that was pretty close. Maybe the one did help. Hull. Okay, so let's do block there. Fill that in. Block here. Weapon. Okay, let's try that. See if that works. It's still really, like, uh, light in the front. Look, it's underwater. Nice. Okay, so let's see if it actually goes back underwater. Once I stop it. Nope, almost. It's almost there. So let's, let's actually use that, fill that one spot in. And put the weapon back on. Now let's see what happens. If I could get it to just sit underwater until I go forward, that would be really cool. It's still rising. Shoot, man. This is actually kind of difficult to get it, get it perfectly balanced. Let's try that. Is that going to work? Still a little bit too much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I thought it was I thought I was doing it. I got to figure this out cuz I'm really interested in uh getting this to work. Let's try that. Maybe we'll even do one one additional set there. All right, let's see now if that if that did it. Oh. Now the back is lifted up. I think it's going to stay though. Dang it. It's so close, guys. It's so close. We're so close to getting this to work. It's very important to me that it that it actually works well. All right, please stay down. Okay, it's weighted a lot better. Okay, I think it's still rising, but it's a lot slower. So then if we give it full throttle forward, it's going to come up eventually. There we go. That's a lot that's a lot better. That's kind of what I was kind of what I was thinking. Uh but now the guns are under. No, they're above. Nice, cool. Okay, so let's, uh, the video is not about this. The video, okay, so now let's look and see. There's some other ones too that I wanted to check out. Some really cool ones. Okay, so we looked at a system nautical, flying, game breaking thing, flipper, spaceship that I just made. Oh, boomerang. It's a racing boat. Here, here it is. I, I, I thought this looked so cool because I don't know what it is. I think it's just a fast, like, water jumper. Okay, we've got tons of props. Okay, if this is, this kind of looks like a, kind of like a stingray, you know? Holy crap. The problem with these, the, the problem with these uh, ships that are, are really fast and light, they get caught on waves, and then they kind of like get messed up. Uh, we're about to leave the bounce. Uh, okay, there we go. Turn this sucker around. There we go. This is a really cool build though. Like it's kind of unique to what I've seen so far. 
We gotta get in. We gotta get in the wave. No. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you you can't you can't control these builds. There's oh, that was some good air right there. Uh, we're about to leave the bounce. Oh no! Turn it around. It's all dependent on the waves. It's absolutely 100% dependent on the waves. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're back in. Yeah, some good air right there. Yeah. Holy crap. 33. Is this the fat? 43. This might be the fastest one I've ever I've ever seen so far. 43. Knots. That's crazy. Oh, look at that air, man. This thing is a lot of fun. It's you can't. Oh, can we hop the island? Oh, ooh! I just had a great idea for one—an island hopper, something that gives you enough. We could probably do it with Dave the fishy. Something gives you enough speed, and oh, what the heck! <laughs> we lost the freaking thing there. Oh, yeah, come on. Uh, no, we do. We could totally hop that island right there. We just have to somehow get the thing to to line up. Oh, there we go. Kind of got it. I kind of got it, I think. Kind of figuring this out. If you slow it down, you can turn it a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Full full throttle right now. Here we go. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ah, oh, gosh, dang it. You can't control the thing at all. It's all dependent on the waves. You have to use the turn when you're down under the water. Dang, this thing is crazy. It's like a, kind of looks like a stingray. Oh, it, how does that keep breaking off? That one side keeps breaking. If we had a, like, if you made this thing, like, have a longer tail, it would totally be like a stingray. Okay, let's see. There's other ones, too. I think there's two more. Um, Flying Dutchman. Nope, just one more. The jumper was the other one. This is another jumper ship, and I want to see what this one's like. Because Dave the Flying Fish is definitely probably one of the best jumpers. But let's see what this thing's like. Holy smokes. Hey, this is a lot easier to control. Maybe we can hop the island with this. Oh. Dude, we might be able to. We're working against... No, nah, we're working against the... Uh, against the... The wind. But it might be able to turn it around... And uh, come back the other way. This is a this one's actually really easy to control. It's really nice. Look at that. Some air there. This one's all about flying and jumping ships. Apparently, seems to be a common thing people are people are making so far. We we, we gotta have an episode where we look at like legitimate ships though too. Like legitimate pirate ships. All right, let's turn this sucker. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I said, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Yeah, we could totally have this island. Look at that, dude. We have, okay, we have to do it. At least once in this episode. Hop an island. Okay, so what I need to do is like get it lined up and then not touch the directional keys, even if it looks like I'm going to uh, totally crash or miss it. Okay, we're getting shot at here. It's over overcompensating this thing. Oh, dang it. That was the one. That was the one. Okay, I'm going to try it again. This thing's insane. This is by far the best, like, jumping ship. Oh, my gosh. We bumped the bottom. We might have to reset. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, get it lined up. I'm not even... I don't have any throttle or anything. Okay, this is it, guys. This is it right here. This is the one. Oh gosh. 
Hey! <laughs> we went over the land. That's awesome. And the thing is somehow still like together. We lost one block out of all of that. Which I don't actually know how that's possible. We found we've we made it we didn't make this, what am I saying? We found somebody who made a land vehicle. This is totally a land vehicle. Look at the thing. Island hopper, island jumper. That's awesome. <laughs> this thing's so derpy. Okay, I'm gonna try to jump something over here. On this one. Because we pretty much can't miss the island. We're gonna hit something here. But we're going against the wind, which might be kind of difficult. If I turn it slightly, I think I catch it. I think I catch the wind. I'm gonna come and ram you, suckers! <laughs> That's awesome! That's so cool, man! Hey! <laughs> Dude, what the heck, dude? This thing is awesome. And it like barely is breaking apart too, which is just blowing my mind. It's totally a land ship. It's totally, you can totally take this thing on land. <laughs> it can just, it can just steer up over the land. It's not breaking apart. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> totally on land right now. And it still works. We're getting shot by cannons. Oh no. Yeah, give me a boost. Give me a boost. Keep firing. <laughs> this is so funny. What the heck? Oh! I broke the game! I broke the game! I'm below the island. Oh! <laughs> That's amazing! I totally just found an epic glitch. That is great. That is great, man. Oh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This game is so fun. Appreciate you guys, all the comments you guys leave. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like the game.